Hello and welcome to the Live, Love, Laugh Lives with myself, Cheryl Chapman, where I am interviewing amazing, beautiful human souls on this earth who are helping to change the world. And today I'm going to introduce you, or they're going to introduce themselves actually, to an amazing, incredible woman that I feel really indebted to, who's helped me to really understand all about me. So, amazing, beautiful one, please. Hi. Say hi. Hello. Hi. My name's Dawn. Well, I'm really called Dawn Dare to be Different Gibbons because I have always been a little bit odd or different. So, uh, yeah, I ran a construction manufacturing company for many, many years, founded it when I was 22, developed it into 30 countries all over the world, 12 manufacturing plants. So why am I odd? Because I'm the wrong sex. Uh, basically, in construction and manufacturing, there was only 1% businesses owned by women. So I always was different. You know, going down to London, major events, 1,000 men, 10 women. Wow. So that was when I was I was doing it. Yeah. So yeah. And when, when about so what's that done? Was that in the early two thousands or um, was well, it before I then? Started it in 1982, and then I flogged it for absolutely. I made five people millionaires um, in 2008. Wow, yeah. wow. I remember the first time I saw Dawn, she had the same colour hair she's got now. Uh, we were at a speaker event and she came in, she just like, it was just kind of like, whoa, she's arrived. And we had a little conversation and you said to me, oh, can I do your numbers? Can I do your numbers? And I was like, is she bingo call? I had no idea what on earth was going on. And you said, yeah. and then you went, oh my gosh, you're a 959. Oh, a 959. Yes. Fire, and, fire and woman, we are here. <laughs> so, she's talking about numbers. Yeah. So, when I ran this company, you know, I had 500 staff. And at one point in this company, we lost money and it was like, oh, what are we going to do? And, uh, you know, we turned over 20 million quid and lost half a million pound in one year. So anyway, the year before, I'd been learning Feng Shui and uh, it was insane how looking at Feng Shui can transform your life transform your business and transform your community. Now, one element of Feng Shui is these numbers. Yeah. Basically, there's nine numbers we use in Feng Shui. And if you see this tatty book here, it's Feng, Feng Shui Astrology. And this book is so tatty because, you know, uh, 20 years ago and all through my business career, in the end, I used this book to actually analyse people. When I was recruiting people, developing teams together, I wanted to make sure I got the right people together. Also, the big thing for me, woohoo, on this, <laughs> these numbers were, at one point, just a minute, I'm just going a bit peaceful for a second. Basically, it took me about five years. I was running the business and I was running the business with my husband. I'd recruited him and made him sales director. I looked at the numbers, looked at him, looked at me, and I saw a few years in the future that I was going to be in my nine, this nine, this fire year, this year of fame. So I thought, my goodness, if we're going to sell this business, that's the year. And I know my husband was in a good year then as well, and that was 2008. So, yeah, I used the numbers to look at the energy of the year because these numbers are the energy of time. When you were born, I find out what your purpose, passion and power is. And then every year you can find out what energy you are in. So you can make the most of your life, basically, with Feng Shui astrology. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like a guide, isn't it? And I know there's some people who think, oh, it's just woo-woo, do you know what I mean? And stuff like that. Yeah. But the amount of times that we've had conversations and then things have happened. Now, now there's a little bit of like, well, you know, Okay, if you think something good's going to happen and you tell yourself, then maybe it will do. Yeah, but yeah. there's been just too many examples. Um, you know, we, you came and did some Feng Shui on a, on a house for me before. Um, <laughs> my, my husband was I dare working you share away. That. Yeah, well, my husband was working away. Um, and Dawn said to me, what do you think of this room? And it was like a little extra room off the kitchen. And I literally stood with my toes on the edge of the room. And I said to her, oh, it's got nothing to do with me. And she was like, oh, right, okay then. Um, so let me just tell you about this room. This is your wealth room. And I was like, oh, she goes, and you've just said it's nothing to do with you. It's got Marilyn Monroe wallpaper, black and white wallpaper, dead single women on this wall here. And then she picked up this, um, <laughs> I'll never forget, picked up this ornament 
of like um, like a Bodicea woman who'd got long fingernails like on the top of a, a set of skulls, and she went, "Ooh, what is this?" <laughs> and I was like, "She went, this is all death, decay in this room. It's not about wealth and abundance." And one thing yeah. I couldn't see because in the southeast, which is your abundance zone, there was no plants, there was yeah. no greenery. Uh, but you had got a great window, yeah. and then I could I could just visualise bamboo and growing and flowing in the wind and just money coming in to you, yeah. you know. And, it's and different. then you, you did you, move, didn't you? you? Yeah, but there was a spiky plant, and you said to me, oh, yeah. oh, money in, money out. Now, at the time, I'd actually just relatively, probably in the last 12 months, set up the business. And I'll be honest, I had more money in my accounts than I'd ever had. And I was like, oh, bless her. Bless her. Anyway, about three days later, and Marion, my business partner, she was staying at the time, uh, I got a corporation tax bill. I didn't even know how to pay corporation tax. That's how new I was to this, to this space. And it wiped all the accounts out. The plant got dug up, it got thrown over the bloody fence. The wallpaper came up, Maz came downstairs and she was like, what are you doing? I went, I'm taking this dead zone out of here. <laughs> oh, 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 honestly, I would love a picture of what you did. Yeah. Oh, Cheryl listened to me, she was amazing because all this sort of dark Marilyn Monroe design was removed and um, she put bamboo wallpaper which looked incredible and then you moved a table in there yeah. because one of the things, because um, Cheryl's beautiful husband was away the room wasn't used. Now, in an abundance zone, you need action. You need dancing. You need communication. You need energy. So then you put a table yeah. in there. It's where you used all the time. Yeah. You met people. And, uh, oh, I was just so, I'm so proud of you, Cheryl. No, oh, bless really you. Really proud put of you. Put bamboo outside and Absolutely. everything. Absolutely. Uh, and Amazing. then you gave me three little um, money plants. This is one of those little money plants that you gave me. Get that out. was... <laughs> Little, 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 tiny, wow, tiny, amazing. yeah. And I've just, I've just kept um, moving it and replanting it oh. and potting it and sharing it, yeah. It's so so we, healthy. Yeah. So we wow. had like loads of like uh, growth and abundance. And, and then we're in the money zone. We're in the money here. zone, yeah. We're in the southeast of the, of the room, aren't we? Yeah. Which is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Hey, well um, done. Yeah. And then that helped us to grow the business, and we move, um, you know, we moved to a different place and everything. So I'm really, really grateful <laughs> for that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Right. yeah um, sure. I want to talk about you as okay. a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. Um, because as I said, the first time I saw you, I was like, oh, she's a little bit crazy. Yeah. Um, but your energy is just so beautiful, vivacious, everyone who's around you. Like, oh, I can just see the room lift when you're, when you're there. Okay. Um, you. But I want to talk about when you, um, when there was just you and another lady in the construction and there were some awards, wasn't there? Have you got yes, a, I, I think you have yeah, 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 yeah. This Basically, is in 2006, um, wasn't it? Remember, I told you, I was construction and manufacturing. And um, I was always in newspapers because I was odd, a woman in construction and manufacturing. And one year, the manufacturing uh, magazine decided to look for the most influential person mm -hmm. in British manufacturing because we really wanted to celebrate Britain and British manufacturing. So they created this, um, the Manufacturing Power 50 awards and they put it out to so it was voted for by all manufacturers and people within the manufacturing industry and oh cheryl am i so proud of this you won. look here i am i won there was only two women in the whole of the 50 power 50 and who did i beat i beat richard branson he was number two and then number one two three four was james dyson so here is this woman who basically why did i win because i when i see people i see the spirits of those people i want to inspire those people so i look i use feng shui in my business and particularly in the manufacturing environments i mean yeah people think i thought i was a bit bonkers because yeah. my manufacturing site uh, it had great big pictures of tropical beaches, of forests, you know, of rivers. So a lot of manufacturing premises do not have natural daylight. Uh, do, you know, they've got windowless walls. So you've got to bring beautiful light. You've got to bring beautiful pictures that inspire our spirits. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's I was fun. about. I care about people. So my numbers are 629. So I'm a leader, guide, mentor, but my two is a carer. I care so much about people. And my nine is on the outside, which is your core number. 
which I just like to illuminate people. So, yeah, so that's what I was doing, illuminating the manufacturing and then construction as well. But this, this was mainly manufacturing. But beating Richard Branson and James Dyson, that's like my claim to fame, Cheryl. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and of course, now you're not in manufacturing because you sold the business for an undisclosed figure, which people can find out on Google if they wanted to. Um, <laughs> and so... Now, now you live. Well, I love the place. I remember first coming to your to, to your place, and um, and it's called Blissland, and it's just amazingly fabulous. And as I was driving up this road, I was thinking, oh, I don't know where it is. Can't really find it. And then I got further down the lane, and I thought, hang on a minute, there was a massive bear, <laughs> and I thought, I bet that's where Dawn lives, wasn't it? So Absolutely. tell us about Blissland. What you do there now? What you yeah. do to help other people? So there's three key areas that I'm focusing on in my life, in my third act you know, from 60 to the day I die, to basically leave a legacy. And it's bears, bliss, and burials. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Didn't expect that one, did I you? Didn't know. No. So, uh, my beautiful husband and I are setting up a charity called Return to Nature, yeah. okay? Now, so, first of all, the bears. Yes. Next year, uh, which is 2021, it's the 10th anniversary of this thing called Bear Mania, mm -hmm. where we had a big cultural arts festival that all came from Feng Shui, from doing a Feng Shui survey on the town of Congleton. Right. Yeah. Now that's where the bears came from. Yeah. Basically the Feng Shui stated to resurrect the spirit of the bear, so that's what we did. So bears, so I'm launching again next year, we're having a 10th anniversary, but it's going to be every year so they, I'm known as the bear woman yeah. in Congleton. <laughs> um, let me just tell you what bear stands for, because yeah. you'll like this one, because you are a branding woman. Mm -hmm. So bear in my book stands for branding, enriching, awakening and reviving yeah. people, places. Yeah, really. Yeah, so bears, bliss. What's bliss about? What's bliss land about? The place where you came, we've called bliss land. Now, Again, Blissland, we've called it a place, but it's really what it is. It's for you to find your own Blissland, which means to find your heaven on earth. Nice. So uh, we, me and my beautiful man, Lionel, right. my lion man, yeah. is helping people find heaven on earth. So my forte is Feng Shui, his forte is Tantra. So his forte, and he's taught me about this bliss, mm. to find that beautiful connection between people, mm. that tantric connection. Um, it's not just about sex, it's about connection, spirit connection between people, yeah. that you find that bliss and you find, um, you know, connection to nature, mm. uh, which is just so beautiful. And then... I don't know if I ever spoke to you about this yeah. before ever, but we've got 20 acres in Blissland. And just recently, well, it was actually a year ago, I met this most amazing woman mm -hmm. called Jean. And she created, and I invited her to Blissland to, to do a last wishes workshop. Oh. So my mum was 91. And um, so anyway, my mum came to this last wishes workshop and we talked about dying, what we all wanted when we died, what we wanted to be buried in, where we wanted to be buried, how we didn't want our body to be embalmed because of all, them, all that toxic mm. crap, you know. And we wanted to go back to the earth. And so, anyway, so glad we did. Because mm. my mum died in March and we buried her on International Happiness Day. Oh, so it worked out just fine. And I know that I fulfilled my mum's wishes. Mm. From that, having that Last Wishes workshop, um, I've set up a company with this lady yeah. and, um, and three other girls. And uh, we've set this company up called Live Your Legacy. I'm teaching people well, and to talk about death and create these Last Wishes workshops. But burials, is the bears, bliss and burials. Like, get me to the point. We're going to bury people in Blissland. Fabulous. Hopefully they'll have died first. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I think it's about 95% of people are cremated. Yeah. And it is so environmentally unfriendly. Mm. 
um, you know, and all the fumes that go up, if people are embalmed with that formaldehyde going into the air, but also the energy. So we want to teach people and basically sell off plots mm -hmm. where people can have a tree planted on them, oh, nice. right? And uh, their bodies will then fertilize the trees. trees. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're planning. So planning mm -hmm. permission is in. Yeah. And um, we hope to start that, you know, next, next, next year. So you do so I know you, you talked about the, this particular course. You do lots of other courses at Blissland as well, don't you? Yes, yeah? absolutely. So the courses we do at Blissland are basically to be able to live happy. Mm -hmm. So to really to find your purpose, passion mm -hmm. and power. So I'll be teaching a lot about Feng Shui yeah. there. And then uh, to love happy. So Lionel and I are publishing a book in February next year right. and it's called Dare to Love. Oh, and in that there'll be all sorts of techniques you can discover to really find that deep mm. connection. Or if you're, if you're looking for a soulmate, how to find your soulmate, how yeah. to manifest your soulmate. Yeah, yeah so yeah. that's exciting. And you've got another book, haven't you? You're writing your book as I'm well. I'm writing a book called Dare to be Different. Brilliant. Because people, you know, they look at me and go, how did you do it? How did you become a millionaire? Mm. How did you run that global business? How did you get 30 offices around the world? How did you find your soulmate? Bang, 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 questions all the time. So I thought, Phew. I better actually capture it yeah. in, in chapters, in book, yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. that I can share. Oh, fab. Absolutely. Yeah. And I love, and, and the other bit that um, not a lot of people, a lot of people know you if, if they know Dawn, but you've got your little ickle ickle grandchildren as well, haven't you? In your, oh, yeah. Every time I say, like, it'll be like, uh, stories with grandma. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I love it. Well, yeah, I, the other thing that I haven't talked about and uh, but brings so much joy to my heart and my soul and laughter yeah. is, um, yeah, basically my daughter asked me, she runs a cafe, a vegan cafe called Wild and Wild, and she said, hey, mum, will you be a storyteller? So of course I will. And I dressed up with a crazy hat and a cape and called myself the wild grandma. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't wait to do lots of that as well. So actually, in the woods in Blissland, yeah. I think I'm going to be creating these little walkways called the Wild Bear Woods where the wild grandma will come and do stories, oh, really? you know, sitting on logs yeah. around a fire. So yeah, that'll Absolutely. be another thing. But yeah, what makes me happy is my little squidgy yeah. grandchildren. <laughs> so I've got five. One's called River. So River, Jesse, and Grayson, wild. And then little Ollie as well. So yeah, they come and stay with me. We go on holiday together. I'm the wild grandma who takes them into the wilds. So I'm the lady that like connects them with nature. With nature. Yeah, get Fabulous. mucky. And it's kind of like that circle of life thing. Because if you can teach them, you know, uh, you know, to, to love nature to begin with, then of course Absolutely. that helps them, doesn't it? Yeah. Dawn, we could talk for hours. Um, <laughs> we'll maybe have to introduce you to come back. I invite you to come back again. Um, but thank you for sharing how you live your life, what you love. We can really clearly see what you're passionate thank about you. and also what makes you laugh. Thank you so much for making a thank difference you. to the world. And uh, thank you for watching. And we look forward to seeing you next time. But remember, Remember in the meantime to live, love and laugh every day. See you soon.